let us create this pirate cinematic scene in Unreal Engine 5. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. Welcome to Hoodie Studios. So before we start, I want to highlight one problem. So a lot of people get into this problem when they try to create environment in Unreal Engine. When they try to create realistic environment in Unreal Engine. So they just hop into Mega Scans Haven and they try to download a lot of assets and they populate these assets in their scene and at the end of the day they end up with nothing. So we can give you all the realistic assets but if you don't know what you are doing, if you don't know what you want, you will end up having nothing in your scene. So in this scene, I want to show you how I use just two assets to create this scene in Unreal Engine. Okay, so I don't want to talk much more. So let's just get into it. All right. So first things first, let us create a new project. So to do that, you have to go to file and you have to go to new project. Okay, so when you create a new project, you just click control plus n which will bring a new level and i'll go for the basic level so i'll save um, everything and we have a basic level so we have to go to the plugins so we can turn on the ocean plugin so just search for water and you're gonna have this water plugin so when you turn it on you will actually restart your engine all right and we also need something else you will go for this icon here click on it and we will go for visual effects and the visual effect we have post processing volume so i will select that one and i will search for infinite so when you just say infinite you will have this um let me go inside infinite extend into bracket unbound now you select that one then i will come into my exposure and i will select these two and i'll set it to manual and i pull my slider to where i feel is better okay for me so i like it like this so this time the exposure will stay just like this then we will save our new level and i'll call this level cave tat and I'll save it. So remember I told you we will need two assets. Now the first asset will be from bridge, which is gonna be this massive sandstone cliff. So when you get into the library, you can get this asset. Now we have different forms of these same asset. We have this one, we have that one, we have this, we have that. So you can download which one you really wanna use. Don't overdo it, just get one, all right? So I already have it, so it's all good. So what we are gonna do is, I will have to drop this one down and I will go to all class and I'll search for water. So I just need the water buddy and I'll just click it and we have something going on here. So we have this, so I can select it and I can scale it however I want it. All right. So after we do scale it, you can actually change the color of your water. So if you want to do that, you have to select your water, then you have to come down you have to come down here we have water material so you double click and with this water material you can come down and you can change your color here at the absorption i believe that is the name right absorption yeah so you can change the color here all right so since we have the water that we need we need to bring in our asset remember this asset the massive sandstone cliff so i will bring that asset into the scene so i will go to mega scans 3d assets and massive sandstone cliff so i'll drag it into our scene 
and it's huge yes we know that so there we have it and i will actually go back and i'll pull it backwards so somewhere here and i'll come through i'll come inside and i'll try and rotate it so something like this okay so i will just select it and while holding alt and i will click and hold and i'll drag to duplicate it so with this since we i don't want to make it the same as that one when i rotate it on the z axis it will just face it but it will not be the same shape as the left and the right so they will both be different shapes all right you can actually take it a step further where you can rotate it on the y so something like this and we will bring it to the top and we will rotate it on the x so something like that and we will pull it to the top so we are gonna have something like that but i will actually adjust it a little bit so i will push this one here so something like this all right okay so since we have this now let me show you one problem when we go through it you can feel the sun is actually getting through the asset and we don't want that so what we are going to do is i will go here and i will go for shape and i'll go for the cube and i'll actually reduce the size a little bit and I will boost the size so we are gonna use this cube to actually block the sun actually getting into our asset so I will rotate it a little bit and I'll bring this right here and I can see I have to actually scale it a little bit so something like this and i pull it back something like that all right and i will duplicate it to the other side and i will take it just like that and i'll bring it in just like this And also sometimes you can just try and duplicate it and make sure it's also blocking the top part so just like that so now when we get into it we don't actually have the um the sun actually penetrating through our stone and all our assets okay so we need the other asset right so the second asset is an asset from kit bash which is a pirate ship from kit bash so i'll just select all the assets and i'll drop it right into our scene so i will just create a new folder for all of them and I will actually move the pivot to actually get in between our asset okay so where is it if you cannot find it like this you can just click F to find your asset it's pretty easy so I will just drag it here and um, let me check okay i'll just bring it here and i will just right click and i'll go to pivot and i'll say set as pivot offset so now it will just be 
in the middle of our asset so i will just select and i will hold shift and select the last one and i will scale it so just like so all right and maybe um a little bit scale it so the whole idea is actually the shape cannot get into the cave the shape is massive so the shape cannot just penetrate the cave so the shape got to duck in, at the front of the cave so you actually have to have a story for um what you are actually creating okay so i'll just um scale it a little bit and i'll try and rotate it just like that so let's get inside and see what's up okay i'll bring it a little bit down but um i'll just select everything again and i'll bring it a little bit down and maybe push it backwards so just like that okay so now since we have this to not waste much time we have to have a perfect spot where we are gonna place our camera so i will actually um, take it a little bit backwards so just like that so maybe like this and i will just go here and i'll say create camera here and i'll select the second option so i have my camera in here now in my camera i will just get into my camera and try and position my camera a little bit so maybe something like that so we see the ship from afar but inside the cave now i don't need to texture the ship because we are gonna bring in fog to actually give us a slight view of the shape so we don't actually have much detail to see on the ship but it's kind of like we've seen a silhouette of the ship okay so to actually get fog into our scene is pretty simple we have to go to the exponential height fog and in the exponential height fog we will make sure we have volumetric fog I'll just select volumetric fog and fog density I'll go for something like 0.1 so this is what we have but to actually make it more amazing we will have to control the Sun now to do this you have to click control L so when I click control plus L I can just rotate the sun so this is where you try to position the sun as you want it so maybe you can go in for something like this this won't be bad maybe this is what you want maybe this is the vibe that you want or you can actually place it to the top to actually see some volumetrics coming in or actually place it like this maybe this is what you're also going for fine that's gonna be cool so you just see that with just two asset we just create our simple scene so the camera will just fly through here that's it so you now understand it's not about a lot of asset that you're gonna have but with the few that you have you can just create something amazing with it so yes don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share it's your boy a to the k to the k i love you i'm out peace out